you have dark spots on your legs that are affecting your self-esteem you've tried everything to clear them forget everything you've had on the internet this is the single video you would need to clear your problems and answer all the questions you have completely hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel <laughs> today we are going to be talking about how to clear dark spots from your leg youtube has been telling me make a video on this and i've received so many how can i clear dark spots from my legs many people following me this on this channel knows me for this video topic i've made a lot of videos on this topic but surprisingly it's still my most asked questions on whatsapp instagram everywhere how do i clear dark spots from my legs videos i made i was was prior to getting certified as a cosmetologist or launching a skincare and self-care brand but now that i'm a certified cosmetologist i have a brand of my own i feel i have a lot more to talk on this topic and a lot more advice to give so if that sounds like what you would like to know then do keep on watching don't fast forward any part of this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this and drop any questions you have and i will respond to them and without further ado let's get into why would you even listen to me in the first place let's do a little recap i'm the queen of always having dark spots on her legs i've had a major burn i'll try to layer old videos and now this is pretty much what my legs look like they are not perfect they look perfect but they are they are they are dark spots if you zoom in <laughs> if you go in and you meet me personally but uh pretty much they are very 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 presentable <laughs> if i do say so myself so here are my tips that i use all through the year and i always use before so, we start talking yeah. how do dark spots form what are they um dark spots is very predominant in women of color because what is responsible for the formation of dark spots is melanin and this is caused by your body it's not like it's an ailment or an affliction from something else your body is the cause and this is because there are some cells called melanocytes that contain thyroxinase or the other way around i don't know he i've forgotten but they pump something called melanin. Melanin is what is responsible for our eye color, um, hair color, and darkness of the skin. So if you see an ext a, a, a white person and a dark person or a brown person, the difference in all these people is the presence of the amount of melanin in the skin. So a white person has almost no melanin existing. So yeah, that's why it's dark people that suffer dark spots more. Brown skin, what, what have you. So when there is an injury or a trauma to the skin maybe in the form of rashes or something you are scratching itching and there's there's a break either injury or whatever from scratching but there's this form of trauma to the skin the melanocytes try to protect that place by sending in the melanin forces to work that's why if you have injury, that thing the body produces to nurse the wound before it gets back to skin. Try not to peel it off. Just let the body do its thing. But when there's form of trauma, you destabilize it. There's irritation or whatever, whatever. These are the things that lead to dark spots. Depending on how long one has had dark spots, if you've had them for years, those are not dark spots anymore they are called scars i know they don't to you you think scars are only um growth or skin projections or something but dark spots that have been on the skin for years and you did not handle them at an early time they are now scars you cannot clear them you can only do a lot to improve how they look in fact you can do so much that someone that is even close to you will not notice until they strain their eyes to see so topical cosmetic products can actually improve the look of scarring dark spot and scarring on the legs but to completely clear them like clear your sins away like it was not even there in the first place you have to use lasal treatment which is very expensive so you get them last lasered off at with a trained esthetician but if you don't have money for lasa this year this video is going to be very helpful i will tell you ways that if you follow this religiously it's going to really improve how those spots look 
if possible even render them negligible and imagine somebody that's had dark spots for for even three years to five years if this thing and even more if you follow everything i'm about to say in this video you'll be shocked even in a lit then another thing i like to do is say is patience these things are like i said they've been there for years you don't be quick to want to see quick results and everything like that patience the hardest thing in skincare to get rid of topically is dark spots is dark spots is, they are the hardest the most stubborn and everything in is dark spots discoloration dark spots so you have to be very patient and you have to be strategic and i'm here to give you the strategy so the first thing i'm going to advise is exfoliation exfoliation is key i know you've been hearing this and in my past videos i'll just tell you oh get um what they call it um body scrubs and just use it to scrub your skin and <laughs> keep it going but it's a lot different the highest form of exfoliating your skin is three times a week as a dark skin person if you exceed this you're going to worsen the spots on your skin yes and even cause more problems disrupt your skin barrier so i would advise you maximize it three times a week that has been given don't do once don't do twice like any other person do three times a week and space it so let's say the first day your first day of exfoliation i say every saturday is exfoliation they just do that is exfoliation they put it on your self care calendar and register followed by two days after that sunday monday two days after monday wednesday so every saturday mondays and wednesdays are your exfoliating days you must exfoliate your skin exfoliate your legs all right put it in your self-care dictionary um schedule or whatever what have you on these days of exfoliating harness multiple forms of exfoliation don't just choose one and sit down there Get, pick the two forms of exfoliation and harness them very properly so you want to incorporate ex physical and chemical exfoliation why are we exfoliating if we have dark spots so the dark spots you are seeing and the melanin usually they are excess dead skin cells that have formed over the years with lots of layers and keratin bonds and that's why they are very stubborn usually if you even apply anything that lightens dark spots to them the because of the years of deposition of this dead skin and keratin bonds that are very tough those products cannot even penetrate anywhere to work so you even think you are seeing your skin but you are not even seeing your skin it's dead skin you are seeing then secondly they won't allow the topical products you are using as treatment to kill the dust but to even get to them in the first place because you are not even seeing your your main skin is excess dead skin cells that are formed over the years if you are having problem with that but chances are you are not exfoliating well so i know what i'm saying the second reason why we are talking of exfoliation here is that when you have removed adequately and continuously with the routine, remove those excess dead skin cells because you are, you are, you are, you are sweeping off layers of these things, they become very less visible, very less harsh and visible. So that's the two main reasons why you want to annex exfoliation when you have dark spots you want to go away from your legs so um incorporate physical exfoliation and incorporate chemical exfoliation um this is a very long in-depth video on its own if you want to know how to smartly and wisely incorporate physical and chemical exfoliation into your routine i'm going to link a video in the description box and in the comments i'll put it go to my channel look for a video that has this thumbnail click it and watch how to adequately exfoliate your skin exfoliate here you need a sugar scrub in the bathroom on the day on your saturday monday and wednesday exfoliation days these are the days i've picked for you as your cosmetologist so in the bathroom when you are showering you need a very good sugar scrub to really get in there and exfoliate your legs scrub it very well like you're <laughs> like you're about to scrub it well but again be gentle scrub it very <laughs> well like you're removing that layer of skin away 
because it works so you're you softening their bond and you're removing that layer of skin not at once but have it in your mind mind and 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 skin connection if you see body scrubs that also had a step further and they're like oh brightening body scrub <coughs> or body scrub that targets dark spots or body scrubs that already have chemical exfoliants this you gain very good good benefits using those type of scrubs i will layer some of them on the screen that i i i recommend all right as we're talking so next after you are done mm, with exfoliating your skin you are out of the shower and the bathroom make sure that you use a chemical exfoliating body cream if you can even see a body serum and a body cream and layer the both of them it will be chef kiss body serums have higher concentration of um skincare actives than normal body lotion so get a body serum that have chemical exfoliants and apply them on your legs after the skin has absorbed in it in go over it with a chemical exfoliating body cream if uh, the chemical exfoliant i will always recommend for dark skin or color always is amlactin i will not recommend anything with glycolic acid because most glycolic acid body lotions contains like from 10 to 12 percent and it is a disaster for a skin of color person to use glycolic acid in any product okay okay so far you are not using it every day yeah you can do it you can go with either something with glycolic acid it even works very fast but just make sure you are not using it every day because if you use any product with glycolic acid that is higher than one percent in fact some cases 0.5 percent and you use it every day it makes dark spots worse and more visible because it causes irritation but amlactin is a chemical exfoliant not only the um amlactin contains lactic acid which is not just gentle but is a gentle chemical exfoliant but it's also the second in command after glycolic acid as one of the one of the very effective fast working alpha hydroxy acid also it's gotten from lactic acid and lactic acid is known to really darken target dark spots that's why i choose to recommend lactic acid over glycolic acid glycolic acid yes can affect dark spots but is more towards anti-aging and glow and radiance glow and radiance because it's so fast at exfoliation but lactic acid will give you glow and radiance too but it's the king of dark spots if you want to talk about chem chemical exfoliant and that does this work hand in hand with um, helping dark spot lactic acid is the way to go so and i'm um, lactin that is what the that is the <laughs> predominant exfoliating acids in that lotion so that's why i love it so much that's why you always see me talking about it so we have spoken about exfoliation I think I've spoken about exhalations and excel. The next thing is what you are um, going to do on the days you are not exfoliating. What is your routine going to be like? You want to lean into things, products that help to clear dark spots. So your body washes, body soaps, um, body lotions, body serums should be products and body creams that have been made and formulated targeted towards dark spots to help clear dark spots and heal them so what these um products do is that they calm the melanocytes down and say hey stop pumping excess melanin calm down calm down stop pumping excess melanin and it calms them down and they receive that message and they stop pumping excess melanin okay so that is wiser to handle it from the root cause vitamin c is not this type of thing because what i see with you people targeting dark spots on your body and what your influencer skincare influencer that is not licensed in any way will tell you vitamin c or anything like that that's a lie you want to use products that contains um inhibitors roxiness inhibitors so things like licorice alpha butene kojic acid kojic acid deep, um, kojic acid um there are a lot of them there are a lot 
stomach acids um there are a lot of them anything you see i'm just going to be writing a lot of them on the screen any product you see containing these things you want to lean into us so your body soap something like the kojic acid body soap everybody are talking about you benefit greatly from that it has high amount of kojic acid you want to lean into any product that contains all of this active ingredients apart from that i'm also going to do help you do in-depth research and pick very good body lotions you can look for body serums you can use for look for and get very good very good user out of them yes so make sure the days you are not exfoliating all your skincare products whether they are body lotion body serums they are centered towards they contain one or more the more the content of these thyroxinase inhibitors the more you are going to see very good results don't use anything stick to them except the only time you sway from them is when you are doing your exfoliating routine okay okay another tip which is my third tip i noticed work amazing is always moisturizing twice than a normal human being i notice if your skin is dry and you don't exfoliate and um, moisturize properly dark spots start becoming very evident but when you form the habit of always moisturizing your skin they become very less evident and a very good way to uh, moisturize your skin is to do the layering technique i always do by using a moisturizer and sealing it with an oil always form that habit forming that habit alone i tell you there was a time i personally did an experiment where i was not doing any other thing to that get dark spot that was when i even had an an accident with my leg which i had serious spotting you know i did that experiment and i found that when without even doing anything when i was exfoliating and uh, moisturizing adequately yeah it really really improved how those dark spots were looking and it gave a very great um, experience in healing and feeding them so always make sure your legs are moisturized at all times don't leave your skin dry because when you leave it dry again dead skin cells start forming quickly and they make everything evident so you always want to make sure they are moisturized it's not enough to just use a normal moisturizer and call it a day always do the layering method where you use the moisturizer first then you use an oil to seal it you are going to gain so much benefit from doing it like this yes so what you use your thyroxinase inhibitor body lotion then you look for your favorite oil to place it on top or you even if you use a body butter a thick body butter imagine a body butter you buy and it's formulated to help to attack to make um, dark spots and all of that and you seal everything in and that is your routine baby girl <laughs> the dark spots are going to fly out of the window trust me my third tip is this a third tip i mean my fourth tip is using sunscreen mm. yes always use sunscreen before you go outside use sunscreen do you know in cosmetology school for every skincare problem we taught acne aging dark spots topic there was the sun's effect to all those things acne or sun has an effect with aging the sun has effect to every skin problem and the sun's effect to it that is how important sunscreen is to you sunscreen is the one key thing the second thing under the sun that makes melan and um, the thyroxinate very active in pumping excess melanin that's the same reason when a dark skin person goes under the sun too much without adequate protection they become tanned that tanning that you are seeing is the um, thyroxinase trying to make up to protect you from the harmful rays of the sun so in the need to do that it pumps excess melanin the areas that don't have dark spot become darker where you have on irregular skin complexion and the places you have dark spot what do you think happen they become worse because more melanin is pumped to that place in excess so sunscreen is very key so basically this is what you do you take your sunscreen or any face sunscreen that you use 
you have when you put your lotion in your hand you pour some sunscreen mix everything together and apply to your to your legs and even your entire body but apply to your legs since the legs is the problem for you now then you now seal everything with your oil so you put your uh, tyrosinase inhibiting body lotion you put your um, sunscreen mix it together or you put your sunscreen as a second step then you seal everything with your body butter or your body oil depending on the one you have access to cool my final final tip is tretinoin yes tretinoin that's a form the higher the most potent form of retinol if you have very sensitive skin first time in coming in contact with retinol i would advise a regular retinol try starting with a regular retinol so every night before you go to bed every night when you've showered and you want to go to bed you must apply retinol to bed a retinol body lotion you must apply it if this is the first time you're coming in contact with retinol you want to make sure you use normal retinol body lotion i'm going to layer a few of them here for you so that your body gets used to it retinol is not something you should play with retinol is very serious and it's very potent it acts fast it can cause problems to what you want to treat if you do it wrong so you start using normal retinols that you have access, which is retinol permitted. Oh, don't worry. So far, they just write retinol. is the normal retinol. Anybody can use it. You start from there. You use it. That should be your body lotion to bed. Nothing else. Nothing else. If you have very bad, intense, wicked looking dark spots <laughs> or when you've used the normal retinol body lotion to an extent then you want to go into tretinol use the lowest lowest meal and um, um, concentration that exists i put it on the screen for you lowest concentration because if i talk now some people may miss the the the, the, the this thing. this is the lowest concentration ever it's usually in a tube do not remove the retinol and put it in body lotion <laughs> you'll be deceiving yourself because retinol must not see the air it must not come in contact with yourself not to become inactive okay and it can even cause problems so leave it in the tube that it is anytime like i told you it's for only in the night time you don't use retinol to go out under the sun you don't use retinol to go out under the sun so bef and you must get this with this with a very thick lotion that helps to protect the skin barrier and the only one i could think of and really recommend is the CeraVe this CeraVe one over here so in the night before you go to bed my love you will take the, that's thick because retinol dries the skin it doesn't joke and the leg does not have enough oil so you must retinol strives in fact some people use it vaseline retinol strives on um moisture it dries the skin so you apply a very generous layer of your CeraVe um cream this one that i told you about you apply it on your then you take the retinol and apply it on the areas you have the spots if the spots are everywhere on your leg and they are very bad then you go in everywhere on your leg that the only time you are not going to use this retinol and if you are using retinol you don't use it every night except you are using normal retinol body lotion so this retinol maybe you do it once a week why the other days you use your uh, the other nights you use your normal um retinol body lotion you know our tyroxinase inhibitor creams are for the daytime yeah while now in the night is strictly retinol retinol body lotion when you want to incorporate retinol use it once once a week and you build as you see your skin is getting used to it i kid you not there are no tips that exist better than what I have told you in this video. There's no need for you to, if you go to a dermatologist, you go anywhere. All that I've said to you is the same things they will be telling you. All that I've said to you is not going to pass the confinement of this advice and everything I've recommended to you here. Except they have their own special product they want to sell to you. And there goes the meal. So that's all 
for my video i hope you found it very helpful if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel below like this video if you like it give me a thumbs up and i'll be um if you have any questions leave them in the comment section i'll be so happy to respond to them and until my next video bye guys